board examination in a certain board examination students went to appear for examination in five subjects english hindi math science and social science due to a certain emergency situation <laughs> we have all seen this we are all used to this a few of the examinations could not be conducted for some students and some students missed one exam and some others missed missed two examinations nobody missed more than two examinations luckily the board adopted the following policy for awarding marks to students if a student appeared in all five then the marks awarded in each of the examinations were on the basis of scores obtained by them in those exam like you should you get some mark that's your score if a student missed only one exam then the marks awarded in that exam was the average of the best three among the four scores you have attempted four take the best three take that average put that for the fifth one if a student missed two examination then the marks awarded in each of these was the average of the best two among the three scores in the examination they appeared for so three out of four or two out of three take the average and put it outside the marks obtained by six students in the exam are given in the table below alba piti kal deep isha phony a b c d e f english hindi math science social each of them missed either one or two examination nobody has attempted all five they're living in tough times lovely we've got this okay okay i'm i'm just have i'm going to have usually i like to have a look at the data to see what we are given six people five things everything is good but there are some that are going to be actual oops oops some that are going to be actual some that are going to be computed i've just marked something some could be actual some could be computed i'm, I'm not saying this is computed that is actual a few of these are going to be actual a few are going to be based on average of this and that and this and that lovely and then four of these students appeared in each of english hindi science and social the student who missed the math exam did not miss any other exam one of the students who missed the hindi exam did not miss any other exam the other student who missed the hindi exam also missed the science exam so two students missed hindi one of them did not miss anything else the other missed science also lovely first of all i'm going to look at the table and then try to find out uh, use the first set of constraint right so if you miss a test then the uh, you if you miss two exams average of best two if you missed one exam average of best three right so some score here is average of first and second or first second and third right straight away if i know this is average it cannot be the maximum so straight away i can see alva has taken the english exam 80 cannot be the average of some two or some three alva has taken the social exam 60 cannot be the average of two right so average is 80 and one more is the average or 80 and two more is the average number lovely 80 is definitely included in computing the average 60 is definitely not included that is the least mark 80 and one more giving the average is the number that is filling in in two slots or 80 and two more the average that we are filling in one slot right definitely the bottom most score and the top most score are not average so if you take biti she is definitely taken english definitely taken the math exam If you take Carl, Carl has definitely taken science. You definitely taken English. Deep, Deep has definitely taken math. He's definitely taken English. Isha, Isha has definitely taken math. She's definitely taken social. Phony, Phony has definitely taken science. She's definitely taken Hindi. The topmost number, the bottommost number, cannot be the average of. some number of numbers lovely so far so good so let's go further we would have had to worry if there are multiple numbers equal numbers and all that three numbers being identical right 100 100 100 they need could have even been the average luckily none of that has happened lovely so this part we can fill very easily like if we take alba 80 and 60 have been taken likewise we could fill for everything else which we've already done right now once you've done that completely then we can step in and say okay alva has taken 80 and 60 he's taken this average of 80 and something else could be one number or three of those could be the third number average of 80 and 70 is 75 which is brilliant so she's taken math she's taken only three exams 
average of the best two is 75, which is for the other two. So it just falls in place. But the only catch here is Alva could have taken English, Math and Hindi and Social. Average of these three will also be 75. Average of 80 and 70 is 75. Average of 80, 70 and 75 will be 75. If two marks average is X, average of these two and X will also be X. Right? So the moment we have a 75 and a 75 here, you have to keep in mind that either Alva could have taken English and Math and Social or she have taken English, Math, Social and one of these two and the other could have been filled. We cannot say for sure that Alva took only three tests or all four or four out of five tests. We cannot say that. And so what we can say is Alva has definitely taken English and Social. Alva has definitely taken Math. She might, she might have skipped both of these in which case both of those have to be 75. Or she could have taken Hindi in which case Science will be 75. She could have taken Science in which case Hindi will be 75. Lovely. So we can do this what you have done for Alva for everybody else. And so, first of all, we fill the highest and lowest. 90 and 55, 75 and 100, 70 and 100, 95 and 55, 70 to 188. All good. Now let's look at this. 90 and 55 is the lowest. Average of 90 and 80 is 85. So she's taken this also. Biti has taken that. Their average could be 85 of these two. Or some three of these could be 85 for the fourth one. So Biti could have taken, she definitely taken English, Hindi and Math. She could have taken Science. She could have taken Social. She could have skipped both. All three possibilities exist. Likewise, for Carl, Carl has taken 100. Average of 180 is 90. Out of Math and Social, Carl could have taken one of those two or zero. None of those two. Deep has got 100. Average of 180 is 90. Definitely taken Social. This is 90. But one of these two he could have taken or both he could have skipped. Isha, 95 and 55. Isha's thing is funny because there's 95 here, there's 55 here. So, but all three are different. So, Isha has definitely taken four exams. If you've taken three exams, then average of the best two will be the filled in number for two others. So, average of three of her numbers should be the fourth one. Fine. So, this, this she has definitely taken 95, 85, 80. If these were the ones he has taken, then 60 cannot be the average of these three. Including 95 and two others, the average should be the final one. It's definitely not 95, 85, 80. That doesn't work. 95, 85, 60. Is that average 80? You have to think about that. 95 plus 85 plus 60. 95 plus 85 is 90 plus 90, 180 plus 60, 240. 240 by 3 is 80. Lovely. So this is be the average number. That means automatically the other combos won't work. Or this is 85, this is 60. So Isha has taken 4. Hmm. Funny, average of 78 and 88 and 78 is 83. That means Funny could have taken English, could have taken social or not taken both of them. And so lovely. So we had to do some more calculation for Isha alone. For Isha, 95, 60, 85, average out to give 80. Therefore, we could fill that in. We fill this completely. Now, let's come to the other four constraints which have been given. And so, we've done all this. Then, the final four statements. Four of these students appeared in each of English, Hindi, Science and Social Science. So, English, four have appeared. That means Isha and Phony have not appeared for this, which helps. Uh, Hindi, we have four. That means deep. And Alba have not appeared for this. Science and social. Science we have only three. Social we have only three. So of these three, some one, one here and one here, they have attended. So we'll come to that. Fine. Now let's look at the other constraint. This constraint. The student who missed the mathematics exam did not miss any other exam. That is very interesting. So Carl, only one student missed. There is Carl. Carl did not miss anything else. What does that mean? That means Carl attended. So the average of 190 and 80 is 90. So Carl has attended social exam also. This simplifies social also for us. So four have taken social. This was not taken. This was not taken. 
So Foni attempted only three. Isha attempted four. Uh, Carl attended four. So Carl has attended four. Foni has attended only three. Isha has attended four. Deep and Bitti and Alva, we don't know yet. Fine. Lovely. So we've gone this far, which is wonderful. So we've used this. We've kind of broadly used this. One of the students who missed the Hindi exam did not miss any other exam. The other student who missed the Hindi examination also missed the science. So let's look at Hindi deeper. So Hindi been missed by Alva and Deep. One of these two missed signs. The other did not miss. Funnily enough, both of these signs is also empty. And so what does that mean? That means Alva could have missed Hindi and signs, which means Deep would have attended signs. Or Alva could have missed Hindi only and attended signs. Which means one of Alva and Deep attended signs for sure. So for signs, Carl, Isha, and Phony attended the science exam. One of Alpha, uh, sorry, Alva and Deep attended the science exam. That means Bitti missed the science exam. Bitti missed science. Bitti also missed social. Bitti also attended only three exams. Final possibility either. Alva could have attended science or Deep could have attended science. One of these two is still open. So either Alva or Deep could have taken science. Which means after having taken everything into account, we fill everything here. It could either be a scenario where Alva attends the science exam and Deep does not or deep attempts a science exam and Alva does not. Both of these possibilities exist. So after keeping everything in mind, we've completed the whole grid. We know exactly what exams were taken by Bitti, Carl, Isha and Phony. Which one they took, which one they skipped, how, on what basis the average was calculated, what was the average, what was the filled in number, everything we know. What we don't know is for Alpha and Deep, even for them we know a lot. We know everything except that one of these two took science, the other did not take science. Lovely. So now I'm going to go to the questions. Who among the following did not appear for the math exam? Did not appear for the math exam. Only one call done. Life is simple. Go to the next one. Which students did not appear for the English exam? English exam. Isha and Phony did not appear in both cases. Isha and Phony done. Simple. What best can be concluded about the students who did not appear for Hindi exam? Did not appear. Hindi exam, Alva and Deep did not appear. Alva and Deep did not appear. There's no ambiguity. Alva and Deep did not appear for Hindi exam in both scenarios. There's only one ambiguity between Alva and Deep, who attended science and who didn't. Everything else we know. And so, so two among Alva, Deep, and Isha. No, Alva and Deep did not attend science did not appear for the Hindi examination, that is Alva and Deep. What best can be concluded about the students who missed the science exam, who missed the science exam? What do we know for sure? We know that Bitti missed the science exam, for sure. Okay? We know that it could have been either Deep or Alva. Bitti missed, it could have been Bitti and Alva or Bitti and Deep. That's the only, only ambiguity. Deep and Bitti and Alva and Bitti are possibilities, but we cannot say for sure. Bitti and one out of Alva and Deep this is perfect. Either Bitti and Alva or Bitti and Deep. B and A or B and D. Lovely. How many out of the six students missed exactly one exam? Uh, how many missed exactly one? Carl missed exactly one. This we know for sure. Isha missed exactly one. This we know for sure. Carl misses only math. Isha misses only English. Those two we know for sure. Bitti missed two. That we know for sure. Phony missed two. This also we know for sure. So it's finally boils down to Alva and Deep. One of them would have missed two and the other would have missed only one. So in either case, 
we have Carl and Nisha missing only one exam and one of Alva and Deep missing only one exam or three totally. We cannot say which three. We can say that these two missed only one exam. The final thing is either Alva or Deep who missed only one exam. So three totally. For how many students can we be definite about which exams they missed? Right? We know Biti missed these two. We know Carl missed only math. We know Isha missed only English. We know Phony missed English and social. For how many students can we be definite about which exams they missed? These four. Only ambiguity we have is between Alva and Deep. One of them missed science also. The other missed only Hindi. So both of them miss Hindi. One of them missed science also. That is the only ambiguity. Therefore, we cannot know for Alva and Deep. The remaining four, we do know for four. Lovely set, very doable, nice and juicy. You put your head down and apply it very normally. This should have been a set that you should be that should have been cracked. Thank <laughs> you.